Do you wanna be a champion tennis player? Do you wanna be the best player at your club, your local courts, or maybe you wanna hold a state trophy or a national championship, or maybe you have dreams of being on the pro tour? If so, there's four things you need to make sure to avoid or do. We're gonna talk about those in this video, and these are gonna be outside the box completely. First one, first thing you need to do if you wanna be a champion tennis player is stop watching YouTube videos. I know, you're watching a YouTube video right now, or maybe you're watching on Facebook, but the point here is, there's only so much information you can take in. If you sit on your phone or on your computer at night and you just tap on, scroll through video after video after video after video, there's a lot of great information out there, but there's only so many things you can put in the practice. And that's the key here, is you need to get away from the computer, get away from your phone, get away from social media, get away from forums at Tennis Warehouse, and get out and hit balls. You need to put into practice the things you learn. If you're taking in two hours of information a day, but only hitting two or three hours a week, then there's a mismatch there. So tip number one, stop watching videos, start getting on the court and really developing new and better habits. So you're looking to become a tennis champion. Ian talked about how you need to get out and really practice what you're watching and not necessarily just consuming yourself on YouTube. Now I'm gonna talk about how you literally need to make over a million balls. And actually it's closer to 11 million balls. So one of the goals that we were always told was from USDA was that if you make around two to 3,000 balls a day for 10 years is what it takes to become a pro tennis player. Now, obviously there's some stipulations and different things around that, but the reason that I'm bringing this up is because you actually have to make balls. Like, you have to have the repetitions on the tennis court. If you just expect to be a tennis champion because you go and you play a couple days a week, you are mistaken. You have to play at least six days a week on a regular basis, and you need to be hitting two to three thousand balls a day. That is the goal. And now, if you add that up over a 10-year period, you're up to almost 11 million balls. That's a ton of repetition to get you to be a tennis champion. Okay, YouTube, it's time for me to go on a rant. Yes, if you want to be a champion, if you want to be a star, you have to put in the work. You got to stop watching all these YouTube videos and videos and videos, and you're not getting out there hitting balls. Yes, you have to go out and hit a ton of balls. But another thing is you got to get real. You got to get fit. I can't stand when players are like, I want to do this, I want to do this, but they're not going out and running. Running is so, I want to say, easy because look, you don't need to go to the gym. You can go outside and do running. You can do sit-ups and pull-ups and get fitter, get stronger. I don't know how many different exercises you can do at home while you're sitting watching this video right now. What are you doing? Are you sitting there or are you getting fit, getting stronger? There's no excuses. So here's the deal. If you're watching this video right now, A, you shouldn't be watching this video. You should be out hitting balls. B, start doing something. Make the most out of this time. So if you're watching this video, start jogging in place. Start doing something because if you sit there right now, guess what? Nothing's gonna happen. That means you're gonna watch another YouTube video and you're gonna have the same issue before. You're not taking action. So from right here, right now, if you're watching this, you need to go out and get in better shape. There's no excuses. Do something. If you're gonna watch a video, watch a video by doing push-ups or while doing push-ups or sit-ups or something, but don't just sit there and veg out watching videos. So that is what I think will make you a champion. Go out, take action. Thank you, Kevin, for that motivational rant on the fitness. I'm gonna bring it down one more notch. So what's the last thing you need? You need to have a plan. There's so many times I see players going out and they wanna uh, be A or B, be the champion, be the, the champion at your league, uh, uh, whatever it is and they don't have a plan. They don't have a plan for how they're gonna go out and stop watching YouTube videos and what they're gonna do. They don't have a plan for how many balls they're gonna hit every day and calculating how many balls they need to hit in that week to equal that month to get to that goal. They're not doing anything. They're not getting fitter day by day and planning out, you know, what's, what's your tournament schedule? How much fitness do I need leading up to that tournament schedule? That's why having a plan is so important. I like to say this analogy. Would you go out to a basketball court and shoot hoops with no goal. There's no purpose, you're just bouncing the ball, running around like a chicken with your head cut off, and there's no purpose. 
have a purpose. When you have a purpose, it makes everything so much clearer. So make sure you go to tennisactionplan.com or click the link below and subscribe to get your tennis action plan. It gives you step by step of how to create a plan to take your tennis game to that championship level. And if you like this video, give us a like and leave us a comment below.